What is up? Welcome back to States Fight Club, and I've got a great story for you guys today. I think you're going to get a lot out of it. Here in Long Beach, California, we've got a pretty decent sized homeless community. And the members of that community, just like all communities, come in different sizes, shapes, and levels of boldness. One in particular, and I don't really know his name, but for the sake of this week's video, we're just going to call him Hank. Hank took a Mondo Duke in my front yard. Now, you might be thinking, you can't possibly relate this situation to public speaking. But I can, and I will. So let's get to the bottom of this week's video. I was walking down the driveway a few months back, and when I got to the front of the house that actually meets the front yard, I saw a figure of a human being crouched over by my fence with his pants down in the middle of a push. This about scared the living crap out of me, which of course would have been a dookie duet. Fight or flight really didn't kick in. I just kind of stood there and froze and made an audible noise that was much less than manly. That noise caught Hank's attention, in which case he actually turned to look at me, and then we made eye contact, which is a huge no-no when you're pooping in someone's yard. And when we actually made eye contact, he didn't even stop. He just kept on pushing. It didn't phase him at all. He was on a mission to leave an impression in my front yard and he was gonna finish, no matter what. Now, how could this possibly relate to public speaking? Let's get into it. There are two lessons we can take away from Hank in this situation. One, when you're public speaking, you've gotta make eye contact. It connects you to your audience. If I'm sitting in the audience and I feel connected to you, I'm listening and I'm engaged to what you're saying. The second thing we can take away from Hank in this situation is if you get caught doing something embarrassing on stage, whether your voice starts trembling or you lose your train of thought or you're fumbling through your words, keep going, keep trucking along. Why is that important? You would be surprised how much your audience is not paying that close attention. Odds are they didn't even notice your fumble or your mistake. So keep going and finish strong. So that's the two things we can take away from Hank pooping in my front yard as it pertains to public speaking. If you're wondering what I did after I noticed Hank, nothing. I did absolutely nothing. And there was really nothing I really wanted to do with that situation. I just walked away, went to my car, and sat there thinking about what just happened. So I hope you guys liked this week's video as much as I enjoyed telling you about my experience with Hank. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, or leave a comment with any suggestions you wanna see me talk about next, something you wanna see me do next, or a crazy experience with a homeless person, you can leave that in there as well, unless that experience involves something illegal, in which case, please keep that to yourself. All right, guys, see you next time.